The city of Grapevine says an internal audit found a quarter of a million dollars in questionable spending by two senior city employees. Kevin Mitchell, who recently retired, was head of the Parks and Recreation Department. And Ruth Chiego, who quit last month, was head of the libraries in the city. The case is serious enough that the Tarrant County District Attorney is ordering a grand jury investigation. Fox 4's Stephen Dow joining us live with that and a very uncomfortable Grapevine City Council meeting last night because of all this. Stephen. Yes, Steve, as you mentioned, the audit revealed $250,000 in questionable spending, but the two former employees are only ordered to pay less than $100,000 combined. And so city leaders want more answers. And as you mentioned, the Tarrant County District Attorney now opening a grand jury investigation. It's my responsibility. I'm the one who hired him. I'm ultimately, ultimately the one who made the decision about the restitution amounts. This week, Grapevine City Manager Bruno Rumblo had to answer questions about how two former city directors allegedly racked up a quarter of a million dollars in questionable spending. Kevin Mitchell, seen in this 2020 video posted by the city on Facebook, was a longtime Grapevine employee. Before his recent retirement, he was the director of Parks and Recreation. Ruth Diego was hired as the director of libraries in 2019. The audit found Kevin Mitchell spent nearly $187,000 in questionable expenses, according to a Fort Worth Star-Telegram report. Those expenses included hotel stays, flights, tickets to football games, and $23,000 in Apple products. The audit found Ruth Diego to have spent nearly $70,000 in questionable expenses for lawn furniture and Amazon purchases. The audit process drew criticism from the mayor and council members because the actual amount the two former employees owe is much smaller than the total amount under investigation, primarily because there are no documentation or the transactions were deemed legitimate business expenses. We need to know if there was no documentation how our staff allocated that money and what decisions they made to, to to be able to do that. If you don't know what you spent something for, how do you post it? The city manager said the audit showed the actual amount Kevin Mitchell needed to pay back was about $33,000, which he has already paid back. Diego has to pay back nearly $25,000 by October. Until now, city directors did not have to get their expenses looked at by another department, basically meaning they could approve their own spending. Even though it's not as organized as we might like, that that for the most part, those folks used the purchase card uh, for city business. In the cases where they didn't, they have to pay it back and they're losing their careers uh, at the same time. The audit looked into transactions from October 2018 to November 2021. Mitchell retired after being confronted about the investigation findings and Diego resigned the same day. Going forward, all expense reports have to get the okay from the finance department. The city manager said for 20 years, the city just trusted department heads, to be honest. If we did, we wouldn't be sitting here. Right. But but I, I, there's nowhere for me to run or hide from the way in which this program was set up and the way that it operated for over 20 years. So this is definitely not the end. As mentioned, the Tarrant County District Attorney has opened a grand jury investigation. Aside from that, the city manager says that if any additional funds were found to be misused, the city has insurance to cover in the short term. And then, of course, they will hope to recoup that money from those who possibly committed the crime.